Welcome to the Popish Plot. I'm Nate. I'm Jessica. And I'm on vacation. I mean, I'm Mike. Yeah, there, there we go. Today, we're talking about saints for vacations. Because... This is, wait, this is not to be confused with saints for vocations. Those are... Com- While some of these saints may actually be saints that you might want to have a devotion to in your discernment of a vocation, we are not referring to them specifically in... Uh, their relationship to vocations. No, for Summer of Saints, we figured most people in the summer think about things like going on a trip. So clearly we need to, you know, know the saints that are for this. Because even though you are taking a break from your everyday routine, doesn't mean that you're taking a break from holiness. No. So and go and, visit that weird parish where they do things different. Yeah, And the saints, mm-hmm. because they are in heaven, are both always taking a break and never taking a break. They're always resting and at work simultaneously. I mean, I imagine they'll be fantastic. I didn't do a deep dive, but part of me is slightly upset that, you know, St. Bridget of Caldare with her heavenly lake of beer is not somewhere in this vacation trip thing. Well, <laughs> she is in our vacation. <laughs> well, clearly you were just looking at the wrong things. Yep. If she's the patron saint of the staycation, what all you do is drink. And eat dairy products. All right, so love so, dairy. So where just intolerant out there? Where do we start? Well, first the obvious one of just travelers in general. Because really, although you can do a vacation at home, staycation is a redundant word. Most of us, when we think of vacation, think about going somewhere. Yep. So if you're going somewhere, you might want to consider bringing along with you a devotion to the following saints. We got, of course, St. Christopher. Patron saint of travelers. Yep. But there's also St. Bona of Pisa. Ooh, that's Oh, I like that one already. It just sounds like a fun name. And she's also in charge of flight attendants. Hmm. So if you're, if you're happen to be, if you happen to not be going on vacation, but be a flight attendant, you know, consider a prayer to St. Bona of Pisa before you, uh, before you uh, taxi down the runway. Based on my limited, extremely limited knowledge of Italian, her name is essentially good. And while we're on the subject oh, of planes... I can't build the tower straight. Of, <laughs> while we're on the subject... They, they, hey, they built the tower straight. The, the, the land s- simply land wasn't capable of supporting it properly. No, 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 no. Choosing the land is an integral part of building the tower. So they built the tower <laughs> wrong. I'm not saying they didn't build it right. right. I'm, say, I'm anyway, saying before, they built it straight. Before we get to it's planes... It's straight <laughs> on an angle. We, we should note that... You know, the reason why St. Christopher is in charge of travelers is the, the legend that he was in charge of ferrying people across the river. And one time there was this little child. He's like, I'll take you across. And he carried it. And as he's walking through the river, it got heavier and heavier. And he's like, I'm going to almost drown because it turned out it was actually, you know, Jesus. Jesus. And he was bearing the weight of the cross <laughs> and all the people's sins. And yes. And that's why his name is Christopher. He was the Christ bearer. Yes, and but since we're talking about since we talked about Saint Bona of Pisa and her uh, her her patronage of flight attendants, do not go and pray to her to get an extra set of pretzels. That is, although, I see no reason not it to. It seems a bit, you know, you, you, you have to have a devotion to her beforehand. You can't just randomly be like, "Hey, yeah, Saint, okay. give me some pretzels." No, 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 no. <laughs> but nobody applies that to Anthony of Padua. Most people only call on him when they need something. And maybe they're on maybe they're on an international trip, you know. If you're flying for like seventeen a hours, lot on him. <laughs> if you're flying on seventeen, if you're flying for like seventeen hours, you got plenty of time to make up a devotion or to build a devotion to Saint Bona of Pisa. I mean, if you ask for the keys twenty-seven times, you've you've made a relationship here. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. But anyways, we're discussing flight attendants. Let's move on to plane. Well, since you're already on a plane, mm-hmm. you might want to invoke Saint Joseph of Cupertino. Yeah. He, he's the he's the patron saint of flying because he could fly. Legend has it you couldn't keep that guy on the ground. He was always levitating in prayer. I believe some stories involve the them other... tying ropes yeah. to him <laughs> in order to keep him from levitating too far. Well, plus he was not the brightest bulb, so sometimes the other Franciscans would take advantage of him and kind of use him as a parlor trick. Not the brightest bulb, you know. It occurs to me we've seen a number... We've seen, here in Michigan at least, recently, in, in, in the recent past, we've seen, we've seen a, 
a, a, a, a, a number of saints, if you will. Is that number one? The number is one. The number is one. But <laughs> saints that were considered to be at the lower end of the spectrum, <laughs> simplex in their in, in their in their yep. in their in their well, okay. uh, corporate in their corporal lives. The, the mm. Lord is not impressed with. You know, human intelligence, because the wisdom of God is greater than... I mean, the folly of God is greater than human wisdom. Yes, I'm just saying. I yeah. mean, yeah. this guy was not considered to be the brightest bulb. Uh, Blessed Solanus Casey was not considered to be a, a top achiever when it came to... Not allowed to preach. Yeah, being a preacher. <laughs> I mean, it was just... Just right out. <laughs> yes, and although I... I... I haven't checked it recently, but I am like 95% sure that if, say, you are a multimillionaire and you are instead taking a trip to space, St. Joseph is also in charge of astronauts. <laughs> yep. Well, it's an extension of flight. All the early astronauts were pilots. And you have to fly through the air to get to space. <laughs> While we're talking about means of travel. Because you've got to... You, you, you prayed for your flight attendant. You've played for the plane. Somehow you're going to have to get to the airport. Yeah, the, the number one means of travel for most people on vacation is, of course, a car. And that's when we turn to one of my favorites, St. Francis of Rome. St. Francis of Rome. I don't, I'm not as familiar with that one. Well, the great thing about St. Francis' patronage of cars is that she lived in the 1300s, long before they were invented. Okay. She was declared the patroness of motorists. Because it was said that her guardian angel, as she went about Rome doing good works, caring mm -hmm. for the poor, mm -hmm. her guardian angel would go before her with a lantern, lighting her way. And um, I think it was Pius XI or one of the 20th century popes said, oh, that sounds a lot like headlights. Therefore, patroness of motorists. You know, you know in fairness, based on what I've heard of uh, drivers in the city of Rome... They need all the patronage they can get. <laughs> Apparently yes. they're crazy. <laughs> yes, and although I didn't put it on the list, that reminds me of, if you are having a staycation, the patroness of television is St. Clair, because she used to have, like, she was sickly, and so she couldn't Visions go to Mass, the so she had a vision of the, on the yes. wall of Mass. Mm -hmm. I've, been, I've been told that if we ever do get to Rome, yeah. we are Ubering and taking cabs everywhere we go, because I'm not allowed to drive, because those people are crazy, and I shouldn't be responsible for anything that, you know. What about operating a Vespa? Would you be allowed to operate a Vespa? Oh, God willing. I mean, because I just want to see a man as tall as you on a Vespa. That would amuse me highly. I want to be a man as tall as me on a Vespa. Well, make it happen. In, 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 maybe in maybe, the, maybe a Lambretta. In the Eternal City. Maybe a Lambretta. We'll see what happens. I'll, I'll oh, get a, a dangerously long scarf. He'll, he'll be Gregory Peck. <laughs> you'll be Audrey Hepburn. It'll be fantastic. Come on. Anyway, we, we now go to an unofficial category mm -hmm. of the patron saints of parking spaces. If you've got a car, them. you're going to need a place to put it when, in once in a while. Mm -hmm. And here, we got two great ones. Mm hmm we have St. Francis Caribbean, Cal Cabrini. Cabrini. Mother Cabrini, Mother Cabrini, help me find a space for my little machini. Yeah, she and, is literally the patron saint of parking spaces. And St. Mother Teresa. Didn't she get the mayor of New York to like grant her a parking space even though she had no car of her own? Yes, yes. They're both in charge <laughs> of parking. And she was apparently the world's worst driver. Well, she was four foot nothing. Yeah, I mean, she couldn't see. <laughs> but yes, they're both in charge of parking spaces due to parking issues in New York City. <laughs> yep, because mother's there for the United Nations and other work, and, and Mother Teresa mother. was there, and Mother Cabrini, that was Lived where there. her ministry was. You're ministering to the Italian immigrants who filled the city. Mm -hmm. Now, perhaps, perhaps our viewers are not traveling uh, either by air or by land. Well, they're, so, they're going to travel, we, by, and we've already dealt with space, also. So what's but, left? But they're, maybe they're I mean, gonna, maybe they're taking trains, a cruise. But or, I did not look that up because that's, of that's, land. <laughs> that's land. That's land. That's but water. Perhaps they're going on a cruise, mm -hmm. or maybe just taking a boat ride somewhere. Now, you know, boating is a very ancient human activity, and it's often been perilous. So I'm guessing there's a number of these. Yeah. Yes, I I probably have like. Nowhere near all of the patron saints related to yeah, this. None of these lists are comprehensive. So, since I can, since I tend to be the longest talker here, <laughs> we're just gonna 
We're just going to run through this. A little, a little speed reading for you here. And then we'll go over why a couple of them are in charge of these things. But not all of them, because some of them... St. Uh. <laughs> Agitor, St. Brendan the Navigator, St. Nicholas, Our Lady Star of the Sea, also known as Stella Maris, St. Clement, St. Christina, St. Francis of pa Paola, Paola... I don't know how to pr properly pronounce Just that word. Going. Please, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Saint Focus of the Gardener, Saint Focus, El man. Focus. Saint Elmo or Erasmus. Uh, he's also the patron saint of stomach problems. So if you happen to be seasick as well, <laughs> hit up Saint <laughs> Elmo. That, that, yes. Saint yeah. Elmo of the fire. Mm -hmm. Yes. Whenever we discuss him, I, I immediately have that song stuck in my head from that show, <laughs> movie from that yes. horrible, from that horrible, horrible film. I don't remember anything oh, about it. Oh, come about on. The song. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. Full disclosure, I've never seen it. I just assumed. Only parts. Right. I've only seen pieces. So, so the my first one, I have no idea why they're in charge of this. No, no, never even heard of them before. But I think it had something to do with them being on the sea at one time because they're also related to other things related to water. Nice. Well, St. Brendan the Navigator sounds like it makes sense. It sounds like he was an individual who, I don't know, Navigator? just happened to navigate for ships. I mean, he, he's on the, the short list of the actual first Europeans to have run to the New World. Because you know, he was an Irish monk, and it's said that he and some brothers you know, discovered a phantom island, which may or may not have been North America. Yeah. Now, I do personally like uh, Our Lady, Star of the Sea. Mm -hmm. I, if it wasn't if it wasn't already taken and I was going to start a cruise line, I would kind of want to call it Our Lady Star of the Sea. Nice. Yes, and you know, invo invoke our Holy Mother right in the name of the company, so that way you know we get off to a good start. You could you could still found Stella Maris cruise lines. I'm quite possibly. I'm just not entirely certain that it hasn't already been done. Mm -hmm. Yes, and apparently, according to some people, it's believed that she was called Star of the Sea or Stella Maris because of a typo. Because, yeah. of course, words for Mary and the words for sea in land are very, very, very close. close. Very close, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but again, you know, pretty much anything that's not sinful, you can give it as a title for Mary. So we'll take it. <laughs> Star of the Sea it is. We'll take it. <laughs> well, especially because there's, there's even then the multiple levels to the sea. Mm -hmm. There's, of course, the physical sea. Mm -hmm. But there's also the fact that God gave his people the land. The official Catholic cruise line. <laughs> yes. not, 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 that it, not that it markets only to Catholics. Mm -hmm. Just that if you are Catholic... We can give you a great Catholic cruise experience. I Love feel it. like that will involve a ton of paperwork with Rome. And we've already discussed in numerous saint stories, Italy is very slow on their paperwork. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. What we do is we start doing this and then we apply for permission. While they're going through the approval process, we've run this business for 20 years. Yeah. I, 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 look, realistically, all we really need to do is wherever it is that we set up home port, get the bishop there. To not refuse us. <laughs> like this episode? Subscribe to our channel, ring the church bell, and until next time, remember to live your faith. Love your faith. Share, Share that, that love. love. Happy vacationing, everybody. We hope you enjoy. I just have St. Elmo's fire stuck in my head. <laughs>